Hey everyone, Mark here, and in today's quick guide, we're going to go over ManyChat. ManyChat is one of the top Facebook chatbot automation softwares out there, and while it may be a little confusing when you first get on the platform, it's actually super easy to use. Today's video is going to go over how to set up a automation default reply flow. So this means that when someone messages your page, they will be thrown into this chatbot flow automatically. It requires no growth tools and no widget installation, so it's the perfect guide if you are a beginner and new to ManyChat. Without further ado, let's jump into my screen and I'll show you exactly how it's done step by step. Alright, so we are here in our ManyChat dashboard, and as I explained in the intro to this video, this is going to be a quick and easy to follow along with beginner's guide on how to set up a automatic reply when someone messages your page. This will not just be an automatic reply like what Facebook offers, but it will be an automatic reply that throws them into an automated chatbot flow, which can help increase your web tra website traffic, increase conversions, and generate leads. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go to automation. We're going to click automation and we're going to click default reply. I actually set up a default reply flow for this client just yesterday, last night, and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to run over the overview of this default reply, how it works, some of the mechanics, and then I will actually jump into the flow builder and teach you guys how exactly to build a flow. If you're not interested in seeing the overview and you want to skip to the flow building section of the video, I have a timestamp down in the description where you can do so. So this is what people will get when they initially message the website. Now whether they find the website via an ad or they just stumble upon it or they're searching for it directly and they click that send message button, we want them to be thrown into this flow. So when they say, hey, you know, this is a used car dealership, so they might say, is this vehicle still available? Or I need financing, or hey, can you help me? They'll be greeted with this first message. It's gonna address them by their first name. It's gonna give them some information, and it's gonna give them three initial options. Call us, our inventory, and apply for financing. Now, the main reason I have the pro feature for $10 a month with this client is because it allows me to do this user input prompt. Now, at the bottom, it says, if you need additional help, type help below. Now, they don't have to type the exact word help. They can type literally anything, and it will prompt the next message. But this is a pro account feature. You can't do this on the, pre on the free version. So I think this feature alone justifies spending the $10 a month. So if none of these options are helpful, so this obviously is a click to call. This links to the inventory page on the website, and this links to, links to the financing page on the website. If none of those are helpful, they're going to say help or something like that and it will send them this prompt for message number three. Now I also have a delay in here, so it actually looks like the bot is typing. So people don't get the feeling that it's just a robot that they're talking to, it makes it a little more personalized. So this next message says, need, need additional help? No problem, what do you need help with? Now if they click that they need help with financing, they're going to be sent this message, which will give more information on financing, It'll have another op where, place where they can apply on the website. It'll have the buy here, pay here page for the website, and it will have an option to call. If they still need additional help, they can type yes or any other prompt, and it will send them a final message that will, again, prompt them to call the financing team. The second option is vehicle info. When they click vehicle info, it'll give a breakdown of some of the information about the dealership, another click to call function, a test drive function, which is, again, click to call, but a different part of the dealership, and then warranty info. And that will prompt the warranty info message where they can learn more about the warranty. They can click this button here to view the warranty information on the website. They can call the warranty team or claims team, and they can again apply for financing. Finally, we have address. We get a lot of messages to this dealership asking, hey, where are you located? They click address, it shoots over a quick message saying that Motorola is located and then it has the address. So that's a quick breakdown of the automation. This is a pretty simple automation. You can make this much more complicated or you could make it much simpler, whatever you want to do. So now I'm going to teach you guys exactly how this is done. It may look complicated. I promise you it is so, so simple. So we're going to jump into the flow builder and I will show you exactly step by step how to build an automation. All right, so we are here in the flow builder. Now again, what you're gonna wanna do to make sure you set this up as a default reply that does not require any growth tools or widgets or triggers is you're gonna go to automation and you're gonna click that default reply option. Now it will already have a default default reply, if you will, when you set up your ManyChat account 
and that will be something to the effect of page name, as so Motor World typically replies within, and then it will paste in however much time you typically reply in, and then it will say click talk to human below to talk to a human. So you're just gonna wanna click edit, and you're gonna wanna create a new uh, default reply flow, and you will likely be put into the basic flow builder, which will look like this. Now, I actually find the basic builder to be a bit more complicated and harder to use than the full-on flow builder, so I would recommend that under publish here, you click go to flow builder. And you'll be greeted with this starting step. And this is going to be the initial message. So when someone says, hey, or I need help, or inquires about a product or a vehicle, you would simply be, they would be prompted with this initial message. So I'm not going to build out the full on flow that I just built and went over the overview for. It's a bit more complicated. I'm actually going to just do a shorter version. And that will definitely give you guys plenty of info to where you can gain an understanding of how to set this up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is some kind of greeting. So hi or hey or hello. And then click these brackets right here. And click first name. This is pretty self-explanatory. If the person's first name is Mark, it's going to say, hey Mark, or hi Mark. And we want to have a fallback. Now the fallback means that if for one reason or another Facebook cannot retrieve the data of the person's first name, this is what it will fall back to. So I like to do there, exclamation point. So if it can't say hi Mark, it'll say hi there. So it's a pretty safe fallback option. You could also throw in an emoji like I did, throw in a smiley face. And then you can add in some text. So thanks for contacting Motor World. Be sure to check out the options below and let us know. If you don't, definitely want to change that. If you don't see what your looking for. Guys, full disclosure, I'm terrible at typing. I'm a slow typer. I'm going to have to autocorrect a ton of stuff, so bear with me. I apologize for that. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to click here to add a button. So you can add up to three buttons. So you could add, you know, a call button. So call us, and then you would paste in the number, and it would just be a click to call. If this phone number is red, that means that it's not linked up right. That's because I didn't just put in a number. If I put in a number, put in a number, and it confirms that number, it will turn green. Same thing with web URLs. The next thing we could do is open a website. So we could do inventory, and we would link that to the inventory page on the website. We could do financing and link that to the financing page on the website. Now, the next thing we want to do is we need to add a user input prompt. And as you can see down here, this is a pro feature. And this prompt right here is the main reason why I invest the $10 a month for my clients into the pro feature. Because what this does, it is allows you to continue a flow without having to use these buttons to continue the flow. So you can utilize these buttons for a click to call and website linking, and then also have a user input that will continue the flow down here. So we're going to ask a question here, and we're going to say something to the effect of still need help. Type help below. And we don't want to have the below in quotes. We want to, don't want to have people thinking they need to type help below. We just want them to know they have to type help. And again, as I mentioned earlier, going over the flow that I created for this client, they don't need to type the exact phrase help. They can type literally anything and it will prompt them. So next we want to do, go down to the bottom and do continue to next step. It will say choose next step and we're gonna do send message. So now whenever someone types something after you know, receiving this initial message, it's gonna to continue to the next step and that's the pro feature. So if you had a free account, you couldn't do this. If they typed help or they typed something else below, you would just have to wait until you or one of your team members saw it. You couldn't continue a flow. So like I said, I think this right here itself, not to mention the other amazing features ManyChat offers, is worth the $10. So next we would do something to the effect of need additional help. No problem. What do you need? Help with and then we could have you know the additional options so like I did when I went over the flow with you guys if you guys skipped that portion of the video it might be helpful to go back so you can see the full scope of the flow I have a timestamp for that section of the video as well below in the description so let's say they say I need 
financing. And right here, guys, they're asking for additional help. They already had the link to the financing tab. Clearly, that wasn't enough, so they need more help. So instead of linking this to a website, we're going to link it to a message. And don't worry about that just yet. Let's finish out building this flow. Oh, and one quick thing I actually forgot, guys, is above the message part, we're actually going to drop in a delay. So we'll just drop that in right there, and we'll do it for three seconds. This just gives three seconds of that little typing bubble that you see when someone's typing a message. So even though people will likely know it's a bot, it makes it feel a bit more personalized and a bit more real instead of it just sending instantly. It also gives people a couple of seconds to gather their thoughts. So we're going to make sure we throw that in. So next, let's add another button. Let's say they need uh, vehicle info. Again, guys, normally I would do more capitalization and whatnot. I'm just doing this quick for the sake of the video. And once again, we're going to do send message. And then finally, let's say, as we did in our flow, they need the address. And again, we're going to do send message. So let's work our way from the bottom up. So for the address, you would say, you know, Motor World is located at, and then you would just put in the address. I also like to put in this emoji here with the little pin. And if you wanted to, you could add, you know, an additional button like call us and do another click to call or something like that. So when they click address, they'll be prompted there. When they click vehicle info, again, you can do need additional vehicle info. And, you know, I, of course, with the actual flow I built out, I had much more information, but for the sake of time, and since this is just an example, you can go back to the actual flow to see what I put for the full copy. And we could add additional buttons. So warranty info, and this would link to a separate message. We could add, you know, test drive or schedule a test drive. That could be click to call or open a website. And then we could do something like inventory and that could link to the inventory under the warranty info we would simply put you know the text about hey this is what we do for warranty again go back to the full-on flow overview where i put this information in to see what i put and you could do a learn more that would link to the warranty page on the website you could do a call us that would link to a click to call and you could also prompt financing again and that could either be click to call or open the website and that would be the end of that flow section. So that's the end of the vehicle info, which goes down to this message, which then ends here at this message. We've also ended the address because that's just a one automation flow. Financing is going to be the same thing. They need additional help with financing. Okay, again, I know I keep repeating myself. I sound like a broken record, but if you skipped it, go back to the overview of the full on automation I made for this client to see what I put. Again, we would do a call prompt. We would do a website prompt. And then we could do any other additional prompts, you know, and maybe another website prompt. So something like call us, apply here, um, buy here, pay here. And then what I want to do for this is I want to add another user input. So I would put something like still need help. Type yes below. Okay, so we've got our user input, and then we're going to go back down to continue to next step. And we're going to choose our next step, and it's going to be one final message. And again, guys, I know I keep forgetting it just because I'm trying to go through this quick. I don't want it to be a long, drawn-out video. Um, you know, remember to put your delays in at the top. So that would apply for all of these, that we would just throw a three-second delay in at the top. Okay, so for our final message under financing, it's just going to be something like I did in the actual flow that I set up where it's going to say, you know, still need help, call us or call us below or call our financing team below, and we would just put a call prompt. So really simple, guys. I set this up. I know I didn't fill out all the text. I know I didn't put in all the copy or all the links, but even if I was to do that, it probably would only take me you know, 10 or 15 minutes to set this up. And this can be completely customized to whatever you do. I know this is for a car dealership, but if you run a clothing store, if you run a construction company, if you're a handyman, uh, if you run a financing company, a real estate agent, whatever it is, just plug and play, you know, put in the links or the right prompts and flows that would be applicable to what you're selling.
And there you have it guys, that is the ManyChat Basics for Beginners tutorial. As I promised you, it is really quick, really simple, and really easy to use for anyone at any skill level. If you guys found this video to be helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel as I do plan to have many more helpful informational guides to come in 2020 and beyond. I truly appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and I wish you nothing but the best. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them in the comments below or shoot me an email which is listed in the description below. I will do my very best to get back to you and answer any and all questions. Thanks again guys and best of luck to you in all you're doing. See you in the next video.